Today's video, we suit up as we have a look at the Factory Entertainment, the Green Hornet, Gas Gun, and Kato Dart Scale Signature Edition Prop Replica Set. The Green Hornet television series first aired on the ABC television network in 1966 and lasted for 26 classic episodes. In the series, the Green Hornet and Kato employed a number of iconic prop weapons in their on-screen crime fighting arsenal. As his earlier radio and movie serial incarnations, the Green Hornet carried a futuristic and non-lethal sidearm, the gas gun, which as its name suggests emitted a jet of gas which could be used to subdue or incapacitate an opponent or indeed even the occasional law enforcement officer who attempted to thwart the Hornet's plans. The master of martial arts at close range, Kato would sometimes employ throwing darts against more long-distance targets. Before we look at anything, let's figure out how big this display is. Going from one end of the display case to the other end and stopping the tape measure right there, we know that from here to here, you're looking at 14.3 inches. When we switch that over to centimeters, that's more than, I'm more than happy to provide that for you. Centimeters, you're looking at 36.3. Now let's go ahead and switch that back over to inches. There we go. We're gonna measure from the bottom. We're gonna measure right up to the top. And if I can actually grab, there we go. Start to slip out of my hand. From the bottom to the top, you're looking at 8.7 inches. Then that in centimeters, you're looking at 22.3 centimeters in height. And thank you, by the way, to the folks over at Factory Entertainment. We're gonna be having a look at the signature edition version of the replica gas gun and dart. This so happens to be limited to 250 pieces worldwide. I know, 250 pieces, that's not much at all, because it's signed by actor Van Williams, who happened to also be the actor who portrayed the Green Hornet in the television series. You can see that he's signed it right there. That is a real signature, and it's numbered 246 out of 250. On the underside of the display base, you're treated to four felt feet, just enough that it's not gonna scratch. You can probably see one thing that this is a magnet for, and that is fingerprints. So if you have yourself a dusting cloth, you may wanna come, that may come in handy. You may wanna just kind of wipe that down periodically. The same thing can also be said for the top. It's nice that they've given this this mirrored finish. Ultimately though, the trade-off for that is, like I said, it's a magnet for fingerprints. So you just might wanna take a cloth and wipe that down. Included along with the prop when you pick this up for yourself, you'll get yourself this neat Green Hornet booklet. On the one side has Green Hornet and Factory Entertainment's authentic one-to-one -one scale signature edition prop replica set. However, when you flip it around, what you are treated to is the picture of actor Van Williams, who would have gone and signed all 250 of these. There's also a bit of a read up on the original replicas. This is what the original dart, the original dart and the original gas gun looked like. Pretty faithful recreations. We'll look a little bit more in depth of the replicas in a second. And a read up here about the classic 66 Green Hornet series, which is one of the favorite go-tos that I would watch. Usually it was the 66 Batman, and then followed closely to that was the 66 Green Hornet. And it was so incredible when we got to see the two team up 
I believe it was like in a two-part episode where it was the Green Hornet and Kato, of course, teaming up with Batman and the Boy Wonder. This is pretty cool, too. You also get these schematics of how the gas gun worked with actually working instructions. I'll show you the instructions in a second on it, but it gives you a nice breakdown of how exactly to eject the cartridge and also how to fill the cartridge into the chamber. Uh, down below, the numbered plaque supplied with your replica is high quality laser engraved laminate material. The plaque is self-adhesive and will apply to the plaque stand. Simply remove the backing paper and apply carefully. Do not bend the flex of the plaque. Also too, uh, I've already applied the plaque. That's something that comes separately when you get it inside the box. You gotta take it out, peel the backing off, and very, very carefully, because you don't wanna damage the signature there, apply it to the front of the base there. Care of the plaque. The plaque should be periodically wiped with a soft, dry cloth. Do not use cleaners or solvents of any kind. Any surface dirt on the plaque can be removed by gently rubbing with a pencil eraser. In the case of signature edition plaques, do not rub or clean the signature themselves in any way, as this can result in damage to the signature. The next thing we'll have a look at, though, is the stand that's going to sit right here depending on which way, of course, you want to have it facing. And the gun is going to sit inside. The handle sitting here, the knob on the bottom of the hilt, the handle, is going to sit right there. And then the chamber of the, the gun is going to sit right there. There's also a hole in the front in which the dart can be applied or can sit inside there. Now comes part of the review that I'm most excited about, and that's looking at the original gas gun. Well, this isn't the original, but this is the closest thing that you're going to get. The factory entertainment gas gun and dart replica were created after some exhaustive and careful study of the surviving props. Back in the day, movies and TV series often didn't keep a lot of their props. They were usually just simply thrown out and discarded unless crew decided that they wanted to take them for themselves. Uh, so here, it's very hard to create a prop replica because you don't have a lot to pull it from. Luckily, after, like I said, some exhaustive and careful study of the surviving props as well as archive materials, they ensured the maximum accuracy when it comes to replicating the both the gun as well as the dart. As for the gas gun replica, it has actually working hero components. Hero prop features that include the moving trigger mechanism, which is featured on the side here. It also has the adjustable gas gauge and removable gas cartridge, which I'll show you guys in a second. The replica is constructed of aluminum, brass, zinc, and resin components, and is finished in a two-tone green. A darker green here in the handle, and almost a slightly lighter shade of military green featured along the top, which also matches the prop scene in most episodes and the opening credits. The gun does hold comfortably, although it is jarring when you don't have a trigger here. You would normally expect the trigger to be up here, instead the trigger is located up at the top. When you are ready to display this, uh, you're going to make use of the display stand here. And let me just show you what ends up happening. You're going to take the handle, handle's going to slide through the top, and the little knob here, the little twist knob, will actually fit right inside of here. So you can go ahead and take the replica, slide it in very carefully, and it sits quite comfortably in place like so. There's also going to be a hole in the front that's going to support the dart gun, which I'll show you guys in a second. Right at the bottom of the handle here, there's a knurled cap. You can unscrew this if you'd like to actually have this as a functional prop gun. You're going to unscrew this like that. And then you're going to go up to the gas indicator here and you're going to want to rotate this all the way down. Then there's a depressed lever located here on the side. When you press that down, it'll open up the bottom casing, the pot bottom of the handle, in which you can then take the new cartridge, new gas cartridge, and fit it into the bottom like so. Closing that off and again cycling through all the same functions, you can see how it will eject the gas chamber inside. Several different versions of the gas gun prop were used during the production of the original TV series. These range from very basic non-functioning pieces for stunt or distant shots often lacking detail and simply carved from wood or rubber. 
You can probably see that Factory Entertainment did not base their designs on the cruder, simplistic looking guns, instead favoring the more complex and detailed hero pieces for close-up shots or action shots. Even in the days before computer-aided special effects, there was even a version that could actually fire jets of colored powder for a pretty convincing gas effect. This particular one, Factory Entertainment has put the little safety red cap on the inside just so that when you look at it, you know it's not a real functioning barrel. Although one could certainly say looking at the gun itself by its coloring and for the fact that it's got the little green Hornet logo down at the side, it's not really a functioning gun, but I can understand why they would have to have put that in there. The original gas gun props were also constructed from a number of found or recycled items as well as custom made elements that were combined to create a prop whose design foreshadowed a sleeky styled look that would be seen in real world gun design decades later. For this being a replica gun I have to say it does feel heavy and a lot of that could be chalked up to the materials that Factory Entertainment had used for it. Unfortunately though this gun does have a little bit of paint that has chipped off which is really sad the other side doesn't have it the other side is completely pristine but the one side i would want to display it with with of course all the levers unfortunately does have that little bit of paint right there that has chipped off nice detailing here on the printed it does look like it's been printed on the green hornet logo i love that logo i would love to get a t-shirt of that and then on up the top, you've got, again, the rotating gas indicator where you can increase or decrease the amount of gas that is coming out. And then, of course, you've got your depressed lever that's going to open up the ejector down below. And then on the back here, you've got yourself the depressed lever to simulate the trigger action. So in the show, the trigger wouldn't have been here. The trigger would have been up at the top, and then that would have fired off the gas. And again, if we want to fill the gas cartridge, what you're going to do is turn the lever to the side, all the way around, hit the depressed lever, and that will open up the bottom. Take your gas cartridge, put it in as far as you can fit it, and then close this off. And simply just rinse and repeat as you want to eject the new one. Just pop this once again. Even in the instructions, as in this review, I have to stress, make sure you got your hand underneath there to catch the cartridge as it's ejected. Press the depressing lever once again, and the cartridge pops right out. The next prop that we'll have a look at is Kato's throwing dart. The dart replica features a yellow body design to match the dart prop thrown by Kato in the episode Freeway to Death. I have to say, looking at the original images, and again, it was hard to find original prop images to the ones that they used in the show. It's pretty bang on. The only thing that is different, though, is the original dart had an actual dart on the end. Here they've replaced it with just a, a tip, a capped tip. I thought you could have actually removed it to reveal the dart, the actual dart tip underneath, but unfortunately that's not the case. And that doesn't really bother me all that much. It's not as if I'm gonna be throwing this at all. Um, I'm just impressed with the level of detail that Factory Entertainment has put into this as well as the gas gun. Kato's throwing dart props were created from the body of wooden English pub-style darts. So if you saw it in the series and thought, hey, that looked awfully familiar, that would be the reasoning why. Of course, they had to do a little bit more to the darts, so some wings and eyes were added to give it a more distinct insect motif. The dart props were intended to emulate the shuriken throwing weapons used in some martial arts disciplines. By contrast to the gas gun, the throwing dart definitely has a lot more brighter colors to it. Love the little ruby stones that they've added to the sides for the eyes. Again, the only thing that's really different from this to the TV series is that the metal tip isn't there. A nice yellow long body here for the insect, insect thorax, I suppose, or abdomen. And then you've got these almost translucent wings. You can't quite see my finger behind it, but slightly translucent wings. And some nice yellowing and green that's added there as well. When it comes time to displaying the darts, you just take the end of the dart here and there's a little hole in the front of the display. Just slide that in place like so. And you've got yourself a really neat looking display piece. You can either take the gas cartridges and put them inside the, the gun or you can just lay them on the side. I think when it comes to displaying it, I'll probably take the gas cartridge and just lay it on the side. I just think that gives a nice extra, little bit of extra look to it. 
And then for finishing touches, you can take the top of the case and very carefully slide it over top until it connects to the bottom of the base. I like that, one thing I do like that Factory Entertainment has done is they put it over top of the front placard as opposed to having this a separate piece or this being cut out so that the lid goes over top and this is still open. It keeps this sort of out of the way of the elements. It means less likely that you're gonna to have to dust the front placard and you don't certainly wanna damage the autograph in the process. So I'm glad that the case slides over top of it and slides over top of this as well. Now, Factory Entertainment has two versions of this gas gun and dart replica in stock. One is $349.99, which will get you everything that we had a look at in this review, minus the autograph of actor Van Williams, the actor that portrayed the Green Hornet in the 66 series. If you are interested in, however, getting everything you saw plus the autograph, the one that's limited 250 pieces worldwide, it is over on Factory Entertainment's website for $399.99, so about $400. If the price point is a little on the staggering side for you, don't worry. With many of the Factory Entertainment prop replicas, you can also pay in installment plans. I think the installment plan for this autograph release is $133. It's like $130 or $134 uh, monthly. And then when you finally get that all paid off, you can get the dart gun and the gas replica gun sent right to your door. Today, thanks to the folks once again over at Factory Entertainment, we had a look at this exquisite replica. This was the original 66 Green Hornet gas gun and Kato dart scale signature edition prop replica kit. That was a mouthful. I don't know how I'm going to put that all in a title. If you want to go back and have a look at some of my other Factory Entertainment reviews, there's a playlist just for you. And stay tuned, because we're going to have a look at some other Factory Entertainment replica props in some upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.